All right, so from the web assigned homework, we're looking at number seven, and number seven says determine whether you are using the law of sines or the law of cosines based off of the information that they give you. All right, so we have a triangle. Guys, when you draw a triangle, if it doesn't say that it's a right triangle, which you by, know, by now know that you're supposed to do this, if it doesn't state right by default, I want you to draw a scalene triangle, always by default. On ACT test, PSAT, so on and so forth, if it doesn't tell you, draw scalene, where it's visually noticeably different as far as all sides are different, okay? And then we have seven, nine, and 14. So seven, nine, 14, you can show them like that, okay? Opposite from nine, I'm gonna put capital A. The reason why I did that was because they said A was 9, okay? So little a is going to be coming from big A as far as the angle goes, okay? So let's do the angles in a different color. So it also gave us those values on number 7 that B was 14 and C was 7, okay? So with that, we're going to say that opposite from 14, way over here, is big B, and opposite from 7 is going to be capital C. So our graph now, we can determine, are we going to use the law of sines, or are we going to use the law of cosines? Okay, so C, B, A, then we have 9, 14, and 7. Okay, let's review a little bit. Definitely going to have a quiz over this today also. Um, law of sines is this proportion where we have three of these pieces, any of them, and one is unknown. Okay? And on the quiz and then the test, you're going to be given equations, but it's not going to say using the law of sines, do this. You have to determine which one you're going to use, but the equations will be at the very top of the very, very front page. Okay? The law of cosines has something that looks like this. Opposite squared equals side 1 squared plus side 2 squared minus 2 side 1 side 2 cosine of the angle. So you have one piece there, sine or side 2 is the uh, second piece. You have the angle and then you have the fourth piece. So four of those colors, okay, four of those um, different colors, let me do this for the angle. Those four different colors are like four pieces here with sine. How many of those colors should you have? Three. You'll know three of the four. Okay? So let's say on this one, we have three sides. I have three sides. Okay? That means I have an opposite side, I have a side one, and I have a side two. The only unknown right now is my angle, okay? And that's what we're looking for. It said, what is the angle measure of A in degrees? What is B going to be in degrees? And what is C going to be in degrees? Which one would you all like to solve for first? It doesn't matter. Which one? A? Okay, so let's solve for A. We're going to put our body right here where the angle is at. So let's put our body right here. And the easiest one that I see is this one way over here that is the opposite side. So I'm using gray for this opposite side. Which one do you think is side one? Seven or 14? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you have addition and you have multiplication happening here and order doesn't matter with that, okay? So let's go ahead and put side one is 14. Side 2 is 7. You with me? We're shining the light over here on this opposite side, okay, from this angle. And then last but not least, we are looking for the angle. So the angle will be the unknown that I will put in blue. Notice I have one, two, three of those four pieces. Okay, now I can put it into the calculator and I'm ready to solve it. 
All right, so let's go ahead and set it up so it, you'll know what it looks like as far as in your calculator. Opposite side is 9. Side 1 is 14. Side 2 is 7. And then we're going to multiply in between. And then last but not least, our unknown is cosine of, let's use theta. Let's use theta. Okay? So we're going to do this in our calculator and solve for theta. Okay? Where this unknown is at, I think you should get in the habit of using the solve or the in solve feature, okay? The solve feature will solve for anything pretty much, and it's menu 3 1. Where the in solve feature is more strictly reserved for solving what? Do you remember? The angles, yeah, the angles. So looking for angles, you should use in solve instead. Otherwise, you're going to get some weird error. And that's menu 3, 6. Okay? So let's go ahead and go to the calculator. And I'm going to put in menu 3, 6. And it's going to be 9 squared is equal to, help me out, guys. What's, what's the rest? 14 squared plus 7 squared. Minus 2 times 14 times 7 times the cosine of the angle. And I like to use theta. So this button right here at pi, bottom left, next to like the letter H. And I like to use the variable known as theta. And then at the very end, comma theta will tell the calculator, hey, do our dirty work for us, look for theta. And then we'll press control, enter. Okay? So now, I just want to be mindful, I want you to be mindful, and I told this to a couple students before class, they were asking, how do you know what mode to be in? I think you should do this, anytime you're dealing with angles, with degrees, be in degree mode. If it's not in degrees, be in radian mode. I am in degree mode, so I did get the correct answer, okay? If not, if I was in radian, I'll show you just real quick, if I was in radian mode and I did the same exact thing, this would appear, watch, 0.579. And that looks weird as an angle, right? That almost looks like change, like money. It doesn't look like an angle. 33.203 looks like an angle, okay? So for now, I'd rather you, when you're working with degrees, make sure you change this to degree mode and make it your default so it does it all the time. And then you should be able to get back to that 33.203 degrees. Oh, home 5-2. Home 5-2. Alright, so let me go ahead and put that in as an answer. We have 33.203 degrees. Now let's look for an another angle. Okay? What angle do you want to look for next? B or C? B? Okay. So now that I'm looking for angle B, you have a choice. Okay? You have a choice because you just solved for an angle. So if I were to look at this diagram, okay, you now know more pieces of the puzzle, if you will. Okay, so we have, we had 9, 14, 7, and now we know that angle A is 33.203 degrees. You could, if you wanted to, use law of sines from here. Or you could use law of cosines again. Let's say we were looking for angle B. Okay, so side, angle, side, shining the light on the opposite. If you chose to do angle B, you would have opposite is now 14, and then you could use 9 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 9 times 7 times the cosine of B. Okay, you could do that, and you could get angle B if you wanted to. Or you could set up a proportion with law of sines. This shining the light on 9 says 9 over the sine of what we got. But right here, what I would want you to do is write it to six decimal places because you're throughout a problem right now. And we're going to set it equal to, we're solving for B, that comes from 14. So we're going to say the sine of theta. Either way, 
you have three of the four pieces that you need. You have this one, two, three, and you have one unknown here. Just like you have one unknown here, but you have the other pieces on the other one. One, two, and three. And yes, I know this is another one and another one, but they're still the same thing. So it doesn't matter whichever one you use. Because of the fact that I already have the law of cosines being used in this problem, I'm going to use the law of sines, okay? So let's use this with the solve feature. Sorry, the in solve feature because we're looking for an angle. And we're going to say comma theta right here. All right, so let's do this together. Notice how I do this, okay? So control divide, sorry, menu, 3, 6 for in solve, control divide, and it's going to be 9 over the sine of what we got from that first part. So 9 over the sine of what we got here that I'm just going to copy every, ooh, let me show you what I'm going to do. Menu 3, 6, and you're going to have to do it too. Control divide, 9 over the sine of this right here. So look, control C on your computer, copies, control V, pastes, okay? And it's gonna equal to, control divide, what did we have? 14 over the sine of theta. So 14 over the sine of theta, and at the very end we're gonna comma theta, we want the calculator to do our dirty work for us and solve for the angle, which comes to 58.5 or 412. Okay? 58.412. Okay? Now, for this, we're just going to use the fact that all of them are the interior of a triangle, which is going to be the summation is 180. Notice how I do this 180, whoops, minus, let me show you the calculator. 180 minus that one, minus the other one that we got. And notice that I'm using six decimal places throughout so that I can just write my angle there to three decimals, 385. So you have 88.385. Questions?